Ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Bush Bites. It's been a long time since I got out and got one of these uh, out for all of you. And that's just because myself and Brits have been on a little bit of leave for a bit of uh, a few weeks now. But we're back now and we are very excited to bring you another episode of Bush Bites. So for those of you that may have forgotten how it works, I get three minutes to try and tell you as much information as I possibly can about the subject that I've chosen. And the subject is here, I'll, go, I'll tell you in a second what it is. So I get three minutes to tell you how much I can about the particular subject. And you'll either see me talk very slowly as I run out of information or very quickly. Is I have too much information. So, Britt, the lovely camera lady, is standing behind me there, and uh, at the on the queue, she's going to start the, the the stopwatch for me. Uh, just to let you know, I was originally wanting to go out and do a ball of elephant dung today, but it didn't work out, and I'm about to explain why. Britt, I think you can start the timer now. Are we good? Ladies and gents, today I'm talking to you about dung beetles, the many, many, several thousand species of dung beetles that we find in Southern Africa. I'm not going to tell you about all several thousand of them, but I believe there's something like 3,000 species just in South Africa alone. So that's 3,000 beetles that specialize in cleaning up the leftovers of other animals, particularly an animal that left this behind. This is elephant dung, and this morning when I drove here, there was four or five big balls about the size of a small bowling ball. Um, the dung beetles have come through here and completely flattened and if you have a look this little achy he's on on the go over there and you can see all the movements but this is how efficient they are at separating these big balls of dung spreading it out like this and then getting to work rolling their balls so if i can maybe get brits to come around here and have a look at him quickly there's one he's busy rolling there's this ball and what we're looking at here is a particular type of dung beetle a particular group of dung beetles called telecoprids. Now there's four types of dung beetles that we get. There are telecoprids, paracoprids, kleptocoprids and endocoprids. So these being the telecoprids, think about it like a phone call. What they're doing is they're rolling their ball and then once he's got a nice ball rolled up he starts rolling it down the, roll, down the road and uh, as he rolls it down the road hopefully a female will find him and think man that is a nice ball of poo and she'll land on the front and say take me home. And once they find somewhere safe and sound, maybe up here in the brush, they will start digging. Usually the female does the digging, funny enough, the male does help. And once they've burrowed in deep enough, they get the ball in there, she will lay one egg, he will fertilize that egg, and they leave the scene. So that's the telecoprids. Then you get the paracoprids, like a parachute. Use your imagination. Basically what that means is you get dung beetles that will bury themselves in the ground underneath the pile of dung like this, and they actually go up and they bring nutrients down underground where they can then lay their eggs feed and their hatchlings can also feed themselves. You then get the uh, kleptocoprids which are the cheeky little buggers that chase after the telecoprids and I think most telecoprids are also kleptocoprids but they're the cheeky buggers that chase after them and as soon as this guy over here has got a big beautiful ball he starts rolling it down the road Bob's your uncle here comes a kleptocoprid they have a little bit of a fight and uh, very often the kleptocoprid makes off with uh, his gold his, uh, his poo gold if you will. <laughs> then you get the endocoprids, which as the name would suggest, they just live inside the actual dung. They feed on it, they lay eggs in it, and that's how their life cycle goes. As soon as there's fresh ball of dung, there they are, they're inside, and they're getting out to mischief. I've got 30 seconds left. Dung beetles are an incredibly special type of bug, probably one of the most important bugs. I'd probably rate it bees, termites, and then dung beetles in terms of how important species are out here. And there is also a great theory, 10 seconds left, that dung beetles have this incredible capability of actually being able to navigate by just looking at the stars. So you see them rolling down the road and I'm out of time. But they roll their ball down the road, every once in a while they stop and have a look around on top of their ball and then they carry on moving. Guys, that was uh, the end of my time. As you can hear the alarm going while Britt struggles to put it off while she holds the camera in her hand. <laughs> there we go but i hope you all enjoyed that uh, a very brief take on termites there's a lot lot more as i say with every one of these bush bites that i do uh, there is a lot more information on the particular subject that i've chosen but three minutes makes it kind of fun as opposed to me just droning on for 20 minutes about the same thing termites have uh, uh, dung beetles have a huge amount going on if there's something you know that you want other people to know in the comments please leave it down below and um, if there's something that you would like me to cover in future please do let me know but otherwise have a great day wherever you are thank you for joining me once again as i try to catch my breath again and uh, cheers <laughs>